well hello there welcome to the channel and today in this video we are going to discuss about python dictionaries so let's get started without wasting any more time so what are python dictionaries it is essentially a way to save the data in the form of keys and values it is extremely similar to json and the way how you create a python dictionary is simply just declare a variable let's say i want to save my name as a python dictionary so what I will do is simply declare a variable, let's say name details, which will be followed by parenthesis. That's how you declare a dictionary in Python. Here you need to give the name of the key followed by the value, which is a view. So once I print the type of the dictionary that I've just created, it will show me class dict, which is essentially the dictionary type object. Now, if I want to access the particular key, so for that, what I need to do is simply type in the name of the dictionary and within third bracket, you need to pass the name of the key. So in this case, the name of the key is name. So I, I will pass that name inside the third bracket within that dictionary variable and simply print it out. And that's how my name will be printed and that's how you actually access the data of a particular key in a python dictionary now let's go on and create a python dictionary and let's try to perform various operations that are associated with it something like adding of new case then listing of values then adding of two dictionaries and so on so let's create a dictionary of a vehicle so i'm just gonna name it as car details is equals to in parenthesis you need to give the name of the keys which in this case is car name sorry car brand which will be tata by the way this is not in promotion it is easier for me to use this brand because i own this car as simple as that car brand then it will be model which is Nexon <coughs> then will be details as in what is the name of the model in this case it is XZ plus then I need to give probably fuel type which in this case is petrol so as you have seen like when there are cases of multiple keys and values it has to be separated by a comma so that's how we create a dictionary of uh, multiple keys and values and the way how we can access this is let's say I want to print the model name so in this case I will just mention a scar details and model and that will print the model name now let's say I want to add owner details to this particular existing dictionary now obviously I don't want to create another dictionary uh, where I simply keep on adding new items to it so what I will do is simply use the name of the dictionary basically the variable of the dictionary provide the name of the key which in this case will be let's say owner underscore name is equivalent to the owner name so now before I have added the owner name key if I print the dictionary which is car details and after I have added the owner name if I print it car details so you will see the difference that happens so previously before adding the owner name was the actual dictionary and after I have added the owner name um, here is the output of the updated dictionary that is how simple it is and python dictionaries are extremely easy to work with also you can use the len <coughs> uh, i mean len command the len function basically to get the length of the dictionary which will return the length which in this case is five because i've added the owner name so one two three four and five so that's the length of the python dictionary now let's perform some 
kind of operations. So let's say I want to clear the dictionary. So for that case, uh, what we have is a clear command. I mean clear method, which is a, a mem member function of the dictionary object. So in this case, it will be card details dot clear. So after this, if I print card details, it will show me an empty dictionary because I've already performed the clear operation over here. Now, <coughs> let's say you want to add some more of owner details into the existing dictionary, not just the owner name, but also some other details. So let's assume that um, the owner details is available as a different dictionary. So here we are going to cover the concept of nested dictionaries. So let's create an owner dictionary first. So owner details is equivalent to simple way to declare the dictionary name Avirup Basu and let's say um, email so now I have created two dictionaries and now I want to add this dictionary in the first one but the resultant won't be these two fields getting added into this dictionary. So what I want to do is essentially create a nested dictionary. So for that what I will do is simply car details. Here I will pass the name of the key which I want to be owner details. And here is simply pass the dictionary that I have just created in line number eight. So here, if I now print car details, print car details. So what it will print is my entire dictionary along with a nested dictionary, which is the owner details. So now if I want to print only this dictionary, which is essentially a part of the card details dictionary. I know there are too many dictionaries you're getting confused. So essentially simple terms, the resultant dictionary is something like, so this is the ultimate thing that I want. So, and this is a thing that we are creating actually. So if I go to demo.py, if you see this output, it is exactly similar to this. Now how I can access this owner details dictionary or let's say I want to access the name of the owner. So for that, what you need to do is obviously access the first dictionary first, which is owner details. And again, within parenthesis, simply pass the second level, which is the name. So let me just clear the console. Sorry, C-L-E-A-R clear and run this piece and here this gets printed so this is how you access nested dictionaries it's as simple as it gets there is an another way how you can access the same and that is where we are going to use the second function associated with the dictionary is called get so let's assume a condition <coughs> where we want to access the data which is not available Let's say I want to access kilometers driven. So obviously it is not available in either of the dictionaries. So once I print card details kilometers, so it will result in an error because the key is absent. Now there are two ways how you can access the value of a particular key. This is obviously one way how you can do it. The second way and this way will prevent you getting the error and it will return a none type object and that is get using the get method we can get the value of a particular key. So in this case if I just type KMS it will not result an error it will simply result I mean it will simply return none. I can also pass some value to be returned instead of none. So if I just execute this, it will simply return zero. <coughs> Actually not here, my bad. I guess this is how it is, yes. Sorry, it was my bad. 
so if you want to replace the none type object by zero you need to just use comma and put up that zero and that's what will be returned now if i just put up the kilometers value you know i'm gonna put it up like this way car details kms sorry is equals to 40 thousand now once i execute this program i'll be able to see that particular value so now you have two ways to get a data the first one is using the get method and the second one which we discussed earlier is using the third brackets so in both cases i'll be getting the exactly same result that's how simple it is no complicated no rocket science now let's move on to the other function which in this case will be items so what it returns is essentially let's just run it and see what it returns and then we'll get an understanding so i'm going to delete all the print statements first i guess there are no other print statements you're fine so now print car details dot items so once I run this program, what I get is essentially the dictionary item. It's kind of the dictionary itself, the entire dictionary only, but just the items gets printed out here, nothing else. So <coughs> in fact, you'll see the owner details is also missing because I have deleted that part as well. So I'm just gonna write it out, owner underscore details is equals to owner details so once I execute the entire dictionary gets printed as a like list of items so as you can see here is essentially a list of items so all the items gets listed over here all the items of that associated with that particular dictionary now let's say i want to simply not only i mean i don't want to print the items but i want to print the values so the method associated with it is simply values and let me just clear the console and once I execute this all the values associated with the dictionary gets printed now here you will notice one thing is that this dictionary this sub dictionary that i created is essentially a value of owner details so that's uh, i mean that is how it gets printed so python will think this entire as a value which is what it is and that is why that also gets printed <coughs> now let's say i want to i don't want to create a nested json structure but what I want to do is simply add these values, like whatever is there, as simply more key value pairs with the original card details dictionary. So for that, what we need to do is use the update method that is available. So the syntax for the same is my original dictionary's name is card details sorry car details <coughs> dot update and within parenthesis we need to pass the second dictionary which in this case is owner details now what i will do is print card details so the output that you should be getting is card details and these two fields will be appended to the original card details dictionary so let me clear the console and execute the code as you see car brand tata model nexon details xz plus fuel petrol kms 40,000 name abirubasu email so it has not created a JSON structure 
but it has simply appended the values to the existing JSON, something like this. And that's how simple it is to append two dictionaries into a single dictionary object. So that's all about dictionaries. I have tried to keep it short, as short as possible. And um, Python dictionaries, as you have seen, is very much similar to JSON. So the way how Python handles it that it creates an object called Python dictionary. And now there is another method called, I mean, another module that is available in Python called JSON module, which I've covered in the earlier uh, videos, where you can simply convert the dictionary to a JSON type object and uh, send it as a response um, to an API call, or simply uh, send it as a request body. So uh, if you are into web application development, especially in Python, then the way how you handle the complexity between JSON and dictionary is that you get the response, your API response, or your request body in the form of JSON, convert that to a dictionary, and then perform whatever operations you needed. Again, convert that to JSON using json.loads or json.dumps, uh, and simply send it as a response or send it as a request body. So all the operations that you do in Python has to be done using dictionaries. But whenever you're sending this data back to any APIs or at anything as such, then you can use the JSON module to simply get it converted and send it back. You can also send it as a string, but in some cases it does generate an error and it is safe to use the JSON module. So that's all about the video for today. I hope I have not missed out um, any topics related to dictionaries. Uh, there are some there are some other methods that duplicate, pop and all, but I'm not going to cover all those here in this video as I feel those are not uh, needed in day-to-day -day basis. So that's it. Thank you for watching this video. Please uh, subscribe to my channel and hit the like button if you like it. I was not able to upload the videos for the past couple of days because of my health issue. And probably in the next week, I hope I'll be able to keep the consistency. And with your support, it it adds a lot of motivation uh, for me to make these videos. Thank you again, and I hope you have a great day. Thank you, and see you in the next video.